In this video, we're looking at the first half of lesson 0.5, midpoint and distance. The essential question that we're gonna answer is how can you find the midpoint and length of a line segment in the coordinate plane? In day one, we're gonna focus on finding the midpoint using the midpoint formula. Before we get started with that, there's a few vocabulary words to cover. The first is called perpendicular lines. You've probably heard this word before. Remember, two lines are perpendicular when they intersect to form a right angle. So let's go ahead and draw two lines and you want them to intersect to form a right angle. Those two lines are perpendicular. A perpendicular bisector is a line, segment, or ray that is perpendicular to a segment at its midpoint and cuts it in half. So for perpendicular bisector, we need a few different criteria to be met. First, we need a segment. So notice how I'm gonna draw endpoints on it. So no arrowheads. And then we need the midpoint of the segment. So I'm going to call the midpoint of this segment M and let's just call it segment AB. Now that I've found the midpoint, to make a perpendicular bisector, we can have a line, a segment, or a ray that goes through that midpoint. For the first picture, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a ray. As long as it goes through that midpoint and it makes a 90 degree angle with the segment, that is what makes it a perpendicular bisector. So here you can see the perpendicular bisector. Let's put a letter on this. Let's call it ray MC. Now, another example of a perpendicular bisector would be if you have a line or a segment. So again, I'm going to draw a segment here. Um, for switching the letters, let's call this segment DE. And the midpoint, again, I'm gonna call it M for midpoint. And then this time I'm creating a line. And as long as that line is perpendicular, that makes it a perpendicular bisector.